Hi, this is Chaz Palminteri, and if you're thinking about getting your eyes done, the only person to see is Dr. Rothman of LASIK of Nevada. I flew all the way from New York to be here, and Dr. Rothman did my eyes. And all I could say is, it's a miracle. I could see. You see Dr. Rothman of LASIK of Nevada. I'm Alicia. I'm David. We're back. We're uh, back. Woohoo! It's been a long break. It's long been a snacks. long road getting <laughs> from there to here. That's a lovely song. You know, that <laughs> song was the theme song for Star Trek Enterprise. Yeah. Also, the theme song for Patch Adams, sang by Rod Stewart, who plays at Caesars. Connected it! I connected it! <laughs> See how I did that? Pretty nice. All right. Before we go any further, Thank the live studio audience. Woo! Also, th welcome the live chat room. Are you pointing at the cocktail sign? I no, love I this line. Pointing at the chat room, oh, which is mysterious. Over there. Oh, and then our new set. I love it. I feel very. All right. <laughs> In lieu of having a cocktail, let's have a drink. Let's have a cocktail. Yeah. Well, I don't know if it's a cocktail, but I brought. Maker's Mark, that I'm just going to drink out of the bottle. Do it. No. <laughs> I'm not. But look at this. I think you're bluffing. Oh. By the way, these are the best glasses known to mankind. I can't, you can't describe them to you, but they've got a, a like a, a, they're ribbed like for, little, for, the, for our pleasure. And that way they don't go all the way in. They get locked like that when you put them in. It's pretty cool. I they won't say break. where we got those, but. <laughs> well, I don't remember. Yeah, well, we, we didn't <laughs> buy them. <laughs> anyway, so we're doing Maker's Mark, because I like it so. Doctor says we can only have three ounces of alcohol a day. So <laughs> I'll have that in one drink. No, I'm kidding. Anyway, so what have we been doing? We've been out and about. We have. We've, we've had three weeks off, so we've been out running around doing crazy stuff. We went to a couple buffets. We did, which we don't often We did wholesome stuff, not just all pubby stuff. We did the, the seafood buffet at the Rio, finally. It was so good. Hey, oh, my you, God. You know, it wasn't bad. If you're local, it's 25% off. The other buffet at the Rio and all the restaurants at the Rio are 50% off. But that buffet is not bad. Um, it's kind of crowded. Yes, if you like seafood, I would recommend going. I got a whole plate of just sashimi, just raw fish. It was so good. You can't. You just can't get that. Well, and what else we do? Speaking of fish, and speaking of raw fish, we finally went raw to... Raw fish? You mean live fish? Well, we went to... <laughs> They're raw Live fish is raw. True. We went to Shark Reef at Mandalay Bay. We did. It was, it was actually pretty cool. All right, we've been here five years and have never done it. I know. Um, again, locals are like five bucks, six bucks. No, it was more. It was eight bucks. It was really cheap. It's only like 16 for everybody else. What? Anyway... Was a I thought that was really fun. I would ex I'm going to suggest that that is the single best. We weren't, but that would be the single best hangover spot in Las Vegas. <laughs> no, I'm serious. It's quiet and dark and really calming with the water. You're in, they designed it like a sunken temple. So it's like an all Thai, Wanese kind of temple, but it's kind of quiet and everything's like everything's heavy. Like the, it's cool with all the water around you, but all the, there's this water. It's just so, I don't know. I think it'd be a really good, if you didn't feel very good and kind of hung over, you sit, and there's a lot of little chair. You could sit down in these dark things, just look at fish. I would recommend just not going home, hung over because it's so cool. That would kind of ruin your experience, I think. But it, I do agree. It's quite relaxing. Um, but no, I, th I think that, I loved it. I would go again. Um, and, for, and if you're local, you can get like some kind of pass. We can go like a year pass. Yeah, I think it was like it's not both, thirty bucks, so and it was yeah. like you go, you can go anytime. Um, big events. There was the annual Skeptics Ball that we went to. 
at the South Point. Yes, it was. If a you don't know what that is, <laughs> Pendulets yeah. party. If you don't know what that is, either do we. Um, friend of ours went, so we went to it, and I was like, I have no idea what, what this is. I know that there were a lot of people with crazy haircuts. Not that I can speak to that, but. Um, it was the, a three day conference. We went to the one evening event called the Bacon and Donut Party. Right, that's why we went. It was called, <laughs> no, I'm serious, it was called the Bacon and Donut, annual Bacon and Donut Party. Second annual. And, well, but annual. Yes. <laughs> um, and uh, so we went, there was no bacon left because we didn't show up till after midnight. But there was a lot of donuts left. There like, were thousands of boxes of Krispy Kremes. So we didn't have any of those, but a uh, Penn Gillette from Ben and Teller was playing in his band. And uh, I think it's some kind of skept. I don't know what it is. It's an atheist thing or something. I don't know what it was. It wasn't the, uh, wasn't the handsomest group of people I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. It's just, they were kind of a little tore up. Lots of tinfoil hats, if you know what I mean. You know, the, you know those people? The, the government sending ray guns into your head kind of people. So. Well, they're, they've got lots to question of beards, everything. Lots of beards, hairy arm, armpits. On the women, you know, it's it was, so it was fun though. It was I, I'll give you I'll give you that. It, it's South Point, love South Point. I'm an, I'm a, I'm a convert to South Point. Big, bright. Okay, drinks are cheap. two dollar drinks. I mean, come on, at all the casino bars. Well, the only thing I don't like is you have to wear your sunglasses because it is the brightest bar, it's the brightest casino I've ever been in in my life. Why do you think that is? It's come on. And it's for old people there, and they can't see. That's, That's what I thought, yeah. too. All the, all the machines <laughs> are the big cards, you know, and, like, you know, it's the big. I can't quite see. Yeah, you know, they, but I remember my parents used to do that. They used to play poker, but they had the big face, you know, the big, the big face mm -hmm. cards. So it was, it's kind of like that. But it's a great place. I mean, talk about a busy casino. So. Oh, yeah, we stayed there that, for a little bit, and then we went down to the Fruit Loop again. That was that night. Yes, it was. Yes, there's so we many. Up, there's so many little fuzzy adventures. Of well, we ended up at the Hard Rock having breakfast at six yeah. that morning. And we got pizza, which, which was wasn't terrible. Really good. First time ever at Mr. <laughs> Lucky's. Mr. Lucky's, if you don't know, is the is the um, the little uh, diner at the Hard Rock, famous for its seven 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 special that isn't on the menu. It's steak and shrimp for $7.77. So we, like idiots, ordered pizza. pizza. Oh, what were we thinking? What? And it was terrible. And we're like, well, I, we're not supposed to get pizza here. Our friend got breakfast, which was very appropriate. Yeah, she got pancakes, looks good. So. Hmm. Anyway, <laughs> we did all that stuff, but let's get to an official rundown of one of our little extravaganzas we did last week, actually, uh, three weeks off, and we're gonna talk about what we did two days well, ago. Well, because we can remember that one the best, I guess. That's true. <laughs> so let's take a quick break, we'll do a station, little station ID, okay. and uh, come back with Pub Crawl Adventure. Oh, oh, hi, I'm Kelly Clinton. I <laughs> remember <laughs> that stuff. I wonder if Joan Rivers is watching. Oh, oh, please. Oh, my God. Who cares? I don't have a different one. You know who watches this show? Wayne Newton. You got that right, Kelly. I think you're absolutely beautiful and talented young lady. Five, six, nine, twelve. Doggy shit. More camera time for me. Hey, I wonder if Cher's watching. Oh, please. I have so many other things to do. <laughs> Woo! Hi, I'm Kelly Clinton. I'm the host of Talk Tales, and you're watching the Vegas Video Network. And we're back. And we're back. <laughs> we don't have any impressions. Uh-uh. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. What's so funny? She's I'm, pretty good. You know, I'm it. watching the, the, the promo. Like, hmm. Oh, oh we're going we're gonna to be entertaining. <laughs> A little soft shoe. All right. So anyway, we went back, revisited somewhere, as we do, that we don't have good times at. This is, in fact, we should call this episode The Big Redemption. Because Even though we've already redeemed the other place. Not publicly. No? No. Okay. This but, will be a public redemption. Part. Right. So we went to the Excalibur, which that's not the place we dislike. In fact, we love the Excalibur. I love the Excalibur. I don't want to speak for you. I love the Excalibur. I like, I've got fond memories of well, the place. Um, yeah, I do, too. Um, the beer pong there is amazing. <laughs> um, oh, we got married there, too. Yes. Oh, and... Um, <laughs> I always, beer pong is pretty awesome. The Excalibur used to shock me because you'd, you'd see it from the outside and think this is this cheesy white 
castle. Fluffy looking. Yeah, I know. Which, it's, I, they should at least made it brick colored, but they made it really white. But then this is when it, like, you know, way back. And then you go into it, you're like, hey, this is pretty nice, though. It's pretty medieval-ish, you know? Although they, they did take out a lot from years ago, like that big pink dragon. Well, was really there was cool. a front. Yeah. Well, they actually kind of, they're kind of cluttering it now because now they've got a big Dick's Last Resort sign out front on top of the castle and a big Leonard Skinner thing on top of the castle. Yeah, that doesn't really fit the No, same. it doesn't. But oh. whatever. The inside's still cool. There's a great painting around way in the back where the buses drop off of the Lady in the Lake, which I think is cool. But that, you'll see my taste in art when you guys go. If you're in town, <laughs> go check out that painting, and you'll instantly go, wow, that's Dave's taste in art, huh? And high, it is. High I love fantasy. It. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Very nice. I love it. Um, so anyway, we went to the Leonard Skinner Bar. Now, okay, let's, we'll go, we, you know what, we'll go step back one. We went on the 4th of July to Leonard Skinner Bar. But we also went this weekend. Mm-hmm. But we had so much fun on the 4th of July. 4th of July was karaoke night, which I guess is every Tuesday night. It was the 3rd of July. It was the day before 4th of July. Now they have it on Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Well, this was Tuesday night. That works, and it's from 9 to 1 a.m. It was cracking, popping, And jumping. there was some, some scantily clad dancing girls. Well, there's that, but I mean, it was, first off, I think the karaoke was filled with ringers because every person that got up on that stage was killer. Like, killer. They not only sang good, had moves, put their feet up, did the, you know. I mean, it was like, I think they bring ringers in for this. But that would, that would be a lot of ringers bringing, because there's about, we was about eight? seven. Yeah, seven, eight. But would they weren't. Would place hire karaoke singers? Or, I, or maybe it's like a, a club that goes around and does karaoke or could, something. Yeah, it could be like, like the, put out the, the word, person. because these people, these people were awesome. Um. And fell too much into the joke. You know, like the sexy singer would come over and start doing the shuffling, shuffling. And the guy knew how to shuffle. Come on. How many just well, dudes that are <laughs> singing karaoke know how to just start shuffling? You know what I mean? I was like, anyway, who cared? It was great. So, I mean, I mean I'm mean, i not, if it's fake or not, it's still awesome. So good, we went back on Saturday. This Saturday. Yes. Well, we were at New York, New York having steak. Oh, so good. And then we thought, well, let's go, to, let's go over there. Uh, see karaoke. It wasn't karaoke. There was a band setting up and then tore down before they ever played. I was like, hmm. Something went Something, horribly awry. Yes, it did. Because it was like. Although the, the, they, they shook hands before they left. Though, so. Oh, yeah. Know, well, but the, with the security. But I think they, they were just about set up. Hugh didn't even have his symbols out of the case. And then they packed it all up and left. Like, huh? Uh, well, I don't know. But anyway. Deal gone south. Still great. A little tip about hanging out at um, Leonard Skinner. We learned this on 4th of July. I went to the bathroom, which isn't in Leonard Skinner. It's out in Excalibur. Whilst out in Excalibur, uh-huh. some guy goes, hey, free tickets at Leonard Skinner. Or free two tickets, for ones. Two for two ones. Two for ones at Leonard Skinner. Whoa, I got a bunch of tickets. And we went in. I'm like, hey, two for ones. So we, we got two for one drinks. And then you only got one. And remember, there was a drunk guy next to us, and we stole his. <laughs> and then he got mad because he couldn't find one and left. <laughs> he wasn't paying attention, so we're like... Yeah. <laughs> well, because they only gave us one each. Yeah, and he was. He was looking at us like, Burr. Yeah, and he, well, he got up and sang. Or something. No, he got up and did something. He came back and yeah, he, he was doing he, that. Yeah, he was saying. He was doing that look that going through. And he had a bunch of tickets. He was like. <laughs> and we're like. So bad. <laughs> and uh, then he's like, he goes like. And he left. Like, all right. Well, they were just sitting there on the bar. Whatever. But... Yeah, man. I mean, yeah. you can go get more. Yeah. Anyway, we did learn you can just go out and get more. That is a super tip. And even better tip, I went out to go use the restroom, and this was to get more. To get more. It does say one per customer on it. Yes. So you can only do one, but that means one for me, one for you. That's four drinks right there. So I was like, okay, I used mine. Go get one. Right. So I went out, but when I was out there, it was a dude handing out wristbands to ladies. He's like, "Ladies, drink free with the wristband." Oh, what? So that's ten o'clock. It's every night. Every night. Ladies drink scared. free from ten. To From close. 10, I, it's 10 to close, or I think it, they stopped. No, it is, 10, it is 10 to close. There you go. Yeah, we didn't say it till closing, so I don't know, but that's pretty awesome. That's not bad. I mean, free. So basically, it was two for one anyway, because I just bought mine and you got yours for free. Yeah, and then uh, going back to when they were having karaoke in the 4th, they were also doing that thing that um, they do at Toby Keith's and all the other different like party bars where they'll play certain songs, and then oh, the, poor shots. the bartenders will dance on the bar, and then they'll pour shots in your mouth. Right. They do that at, um, what is it, Rock and Rita's, they do that? Yeah, they do it at like, a, a, a lot it's of all places. It's all those, that. like, flare kind of places. Right. All of those places. It's usually, along to, it's usually along to shot, 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 Which shot, shot. Which it was. Yes. <laughs> um, 
Uh, Everybody. Yeah, yeah. So that's that's actually. So we actually had a great time. Like this is pretty cool. Um, we thought, well, let's. It's getting late. Why don't we head out? Heading out. Dick's Last Resort, which we haven't been to in a long time. We hated it at first. We kind of liked it then later. Then we kind of think it's too expensive. And we're kind of up and down about it. Yeah. Went in there about, well, it was had to be about 11 o'clock, 11.30, because with something happened at midnight, it was very distinctive. So there's a band playing. There's a couple people dancing. The people... Not so jerky, really anymore. I think they've kind of dumped, dropped that jerky thing. Or they rec- or they recognize us now. I don't know. <laughs> well, they did recognize us, cause, not because we're famous, but because we've been in there before. They're like, hey, it's you guys. Hey, how about a you know beer or whatever? And the beer. And same thing though. Go out before you go in. Walk around right out front. And get a couple two for ones. In the right go. around the bend. Get a couple and then you you're, get a free drink. Yep. Nice. So so we so we got a few free drinks. Went in. Bands playing. I thought the greatest thing happened at midnight. At that. Now I can't. I'm not gonna cuss. But on the on the mic, the band got done. They, you know, the band, the same thing. Stop believing and all that crap. And then, um, and everybody's kind of dancing. You know, they're like the prom dance. Anyway, band stops. DJ gets out. Everybody, shot, shot, shot. And all the people start piling in. The guy on the thing says, "It's midnight. Last call for children. If you've got a child, get that out." Like, loud, out loud. And all the little families went, <laughs> Ooh, like, if you've got children in there, get the F out now. And they were in there, and I don't, and it was, I thought that was and great. There was the, like, shot, you had shot. the biggest smile on your face. You're like, yes. Good. That's what they should do. <laughs> that, well, then the place really got Then jumping. it got jumping. It really did. And this is something that our friend John had mentioned to us about other places in town that he'd been to um, that's rough for some bands because you got a band that comes out that's hired to play old cover songs, you know, and they're like, old cover song, old cover song. Then they go on break, DJ comes out, shot, 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 everybody's then, dancing yeah, and, packed. you know, it's packed. Then band comes out, then cheer up, away. sleepy jean, oh, what can it mean? Everybody's like, oh. Then gotta it goes go. up, shot, 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 <laughs> shot, shot, everybody, you know, so it's like, it's really got to be rough for these bands, you know, because there's four or five of those guys, all professional musicians, and then one guy with a, <laughs> With a, an iPod that's got everybody jumping. That's, that's got to be pretty rough. So anyway, but it was. It was jumping. It was really fun. Um, I don't think it was very expensive with all the two-for-ones. It really wasn't. The whole night was, was actually fairly inexpensive. I was blown away. So the secret is, though, go out and get those free things. They do that at uh, Coyote Ugly. Mm-hmm. Oh, and then we went to Night Fine. Oh, my Lord, I just remembered <laughs> that. What were we doing there? That? Oh, after that? Yes! We oh, walked yeah. from there, back in New York, New York, down in Nine Fine Irishmen, which we swore to never go into unless we win the lottery. <laughs> because we walked in there, and I go, I'll have a Jameson Neat. He poured it into a shot glass. Let's pretend it's this. Finely measured shot glass. He poured Jameson into the shot glass, poured it into my glass, and went, that'll be nine seventy-five, please. <laughs> I'm like, you know what? Ah. I was like, why are we in here? Then the band started. I'm like, that's why we're in here. The band is so good. The band is the best band in Las Vegas. Their band is called Re Ra. I think it's called Re Ra something. It's got something else to it. You can quote me on that. It's Re Ra. I, I believe you, like Sunday or something like yes, that. Yes, but, but they play every day, but I think Tuesday, Wednesday. Or Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday, Thursday. Well, I'm sure they play Thursday. Anyway, and, we there's two saw, days and we saw the singer at, at, the, at the Mandalay Bay re Now which you're going to confuse everybody because there's a bar, another pub in Mandalay Bay it's called re which means like festive or something in, Ira, in Celtic or whatever. They, they speak, don't they speak English in Ireland? What kind of language is that? That's would be Celtic. Oh. Anyway. <laughs> Anyway, this Not band, best band in Las Vegas. They're called re and they play at Nine Fine every night of the week, except for like Tuesdays and Wednesdays, or Mondays, Tuesdays, or whatever. Um, and they started playing, and they were great, as always. And I'm like, that's why I'm paying $10 a shot. It's for entertainment. Yeah. But that place is a fortune! But it's wonderful. So we had a little bit of an MGM kind of night that night. We spent... Uh, well, you know, MGM Entertainment. Okay. Because it was <laughs> like Excalibur. What? Well, we ate at New York, New York, went to Excalibur, then no, back to New York, and then, so. But anyway, so that was our little MGM, little little corner trip. It was quite good. It was. I would like to do it again. Maybe, right now. Maybe we will. <laughs> anyway, let's, uh, 
Wait a minute. Let's take a quick break and come back with some uh, Hey Bartender. Let's do it. You know, one of the things I like best about the Vegas Video Network are the people. There are no divas here. Everyone is exactly the same off camera as they are on. Hey guys, what's uh, Cocktail of the Week this week? You know what? I'll let you know what it is when it's time for you to know what it is. Why don't you get off the stage and get back in your production hall? Oh my god. You know what? And tell Cheap Ass Whitney to get us some decent brand liquor. This hobo off wrap crap ain't cutting it. God, idiots. Totally. You know, people always come up to us and say, how do I talk to you? And I say, well, you first buy us a drink. Secondly, <laughs> you can send us an email. But whatever you do, please go away right now. No, no um, <laughs> but if you, do, if you would like to send us an email, which we like emails, um, you can do this at pubcrawl at vegasvideonetwork.com. Pubcrawl at vegasvideonetwork.com. Also, Twitter, we're the LV locals. LV stands for Las Vegas, by the way. Uh, the whole network's Vegas Video Network. What else? Uh, Roku, if you got a Roku machine, you can tap, pipe us in like that. A Roku machine? A Roku machine? You know, is it even technically a machine? It's like a contraption. Yeah. Machine. I don't think it is. Is there a it's moving a gadget? Part? It's a gadget? It's a gadget. Yeah, Roku gadget. Yeah, I don't think it's a <laughs> Roku gadget. That's my new fake name. Checking <laughs> in at a Roku gadget. Nice. Anyways, email. All right, we have a hey bartender from Danielle M. I'm not sure if you remember me. I had sent you guys a, couple, a few Groupons to use a while back. Okay, it was almost a year ago. I do recall that. I do that too. I'm going to be in Vegas next week, which is actually this week, uh, 21st through the 23rd. And would love to meet you and Alicia. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys happen to be I'd out. Like, I'd like to meet you and Alicia. And me. Right. <laughs> Uh, if you guys happen to be out and about on the strip, any any of those days, maybe we can plan to meet somewhere. I'm going to be out there with my two older brothers and one of their girlfriends, and we're staying at the Excalibur. Hey, we just talked about that place. I actually haven't been listening to the show, aw, only because I get very sad if I listen to any podcasts, any Vegas podcasts, and don't have a trip planned. Oh. This trip, a bit last minute, so I've, I haven't had time to get caught up. I'm trying to look... I'm going to try to listen to a few before I get there, though, to get some good ideas. Anyway, hope we can work get something out for when I'm out. We are going to be out. You know what we're going to do? You made a decision that shocked the world. And it's what? A, and it's a good decision. You know what? We, we tried to do this about a year ago. As you know, it was, during, it was during that little thing called, oh, New Year's Eve, where we, we were going to have a, a resolution. And the resolution was, let's make plans and follow through. <laughs> so we were walking through the Mirage. <laughs> wow, what a, what a, I know. a novel idea. Well, we were walking through the Mirage, and you said, hey, Daniel Tosh is um, playing at the Mirage. Oh, yes. Let's buy tickets. And I went, honey, they're like $80 a piece. Let's buy tickets. All right, so we did. So Saturday night, we're going to Daniel Tosh. No relation to Peter Tosh, by the way. No. Um, or, or Daniel M. We're gonna, we're right, gonna but we are going to be at Caesars Palace on Saturday night. If We'll probably be out Friday night and Sunday night, too, but I'm just saying. Saturday night. Mm -hmm. Caesar's Palace for Daniel Tosh. It Mirage? Caesar's it is. It's uh, the Mirage. The Mirage. We'll be at the Mirage. Right. We'll be at the Mirage. So we will contact you, Danielle, and then we'll set something up. All right. You know what? It's, it's really funny. Um, I do have a tip. I know we don't, we're not doing a, a last call where I have a tip, but I do have a tip this week. And oh, I, what is that? Well, it's a tip that I... I I mentioned a few weeks ago, and I'm going to say I followed my own advice, and it worked like gangbusters. That was the pay cash at the bar when there's a lot of people around. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I put that in, and I cannot stress to you to do that. You please, ladies and gentlemen, please do this. Please do this. You've got a party of 8, 5, 16, whatever. Go over to the little ATM machine, pay the 4 bucks to pull out $100. You have to, I'm in Vegas, you know, you have to pay to pull, pull it out. Pull it out. That $4 is nothing compared to how much money you're going to save by buying your drinks as you go. We were at the Rio, which is, I love and hate the Rio. The Rio has 50% off for locals at the casino bars. 
50% off. You'd think that would be a deal, wouldn't you? You'd have to work for that deal. And you're still not going to get it unless you've got cash and force them, put their nose in it and go, give me the deal. They are awful. Okay, this guy that works at the Rio, I won't mention any names. We've had issues with him, what, three, four three times? times. Fact, like yelling he, matches. Like, with, with security the locals deal. and managers. This is three times we've had it with this guy. And we walked up to the bar this time, and he went, want me to get the manager? He's and like, he was, hey, he guys, like, hey, guys. Yeah, he was already being a yeah. wiseacre. And I'm like, you know, I'm paying cash. And check what, okay, after this little confrontation we had, he still tried to rip me off. Yeah, because so d- describe it. It was, it was oh. you and I and then our friend. Okay, me and you and Vernon, right, mm-hmm. our buddy Vernon, we go up to the guy. After this little snide comment he makes at me, I go, okay, we want two uh, Captain Diets. And Vernon goes, I'll have a Miller. He goes, all right, that's $29. Wait, 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 I go yeah. two Captain and Diets and a thing. Here's my play, my uh, total rewards card and my ID for the deal. He comes back, $29. I go, separate. He goes, oh, yours is nine, his is six. How is that 29? The math, yeah, it doesn't have he, that's that's what he tried to do by bulking it all together, not give us the deal. So if we, once we separated it out, he was forced to give us the deal. As I saw him do it, I'm like, you little rat bastard. That's exactly what you were trying to do. And that's what he did to us before all night long. Well, he's at the masquerade bar. Masquerade bar. Uh, yeah, he's at the masquerade bar. And Although we've had issues also at the, what's the, the white, no, the we white didn't. bar? I don't think we've had any issues there. No, it was just we had to jump through hoops. And I will tell you this, though. This is what we had to do at, at the I bar, and you'll have to do it every bar. bar. You have to show your ID and your card every drink. Which is, you know, I mean, because they, they have to swipe the card. They only have to show the ID once. I, I think that's part of their training. They, they probably tell them, yeah, we have this great deal, but only but honor But we really it don't want to give it to anybody. It. Right? Yeah, it's, like, yeah, it's a great deal, but we really don't want to give it to people. Oh, and then our friend had trouble getting into the, the seafood buffet also. Same thing. They didn't want to give him the deal at all. Yeah, so they gave us a deal. So you go, and it is it's, it's, it's two deals that are stacked. Okay, it's, the, the buffet is $44. With the total rewards card, for anybody, it's $39. If you're you, a local, it's even less. It's 25% off the 39 So it's, for us, it's like 27 bucks, which isn't bad, $28. Mm. We go in, but I had to talk to the lady and get this all set up. How much is it? I go, is the 25% off off the 39 or the 44 She goes, off the 39 Oh, thank you. Our bill was $57 for the two of us. We went in. Friend comes in behind well, us. Well, it was, it was Portland Dave, and he came in. Yeah, you guys kinda, all know Portland Dave. You know, coming they in went, after the fact. He said they would only would charge him 39 he can. He has a. He's in a bad ID. Thirty nine. Like, I don't know. It that. was the same lady. They were arguing with him. They're like, "No, sir, that's not the deal. No, sir." And he's like, "He tried it." And we're in, and he's and we're yeah, right I'm, there. I mean, stuff in my face with crab like. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> and he and Dave's up there. I'm hungry. Right. I know, but I don't know. And um, but yeah, but I caught the guy at the bar, and that's the biggest deal. Get your drinks separately. You know, and pay cash as you go. Because we've walked out of the- And don't get sloppy. Don't run a tab. Just pay don't for everyone. Don't run a tab. Because I've literally had management and security at that bar at 3 in the morning with me like, ah, don't you yet. Because the bill, <laughs> the bill was like $150. And I'm like, What? I thought it was half price. Like, yep, we'll see, but this and this and this. And it's like, and in my drunken mind, I'm like, you're ripping me off. So if I do this, just pay as you go. Pay as you go. And then we learned a trick from a better friend right next to the masquerade bar, literally two feet next oh, to yeah, it. Oh, yeah, this was our. <laughs> is a liquor store. Go in there and buy a bottle for $8 and just walk around drinking that. Or we got two, we got two Mickey's Big Mouths. We were drinking mall liquors. Yeah, we got two Mickey's we're like, Big Mouths. All this noise, we're going to drink our for, mall liquor. <laughs> I think they were four, but they were four fifty a piece for the big twenty-two yeah. ounce cans of malt liquor. And, and by the way, not only are they good, they're classy to carry around. Oh yeah, you look pretty tough. No, we like carried those all. We got two more and carried them to the donut ball. We walked <laughs> in with the with the malt liquor. I I ain't proud, but I'm just saying, be careful. Um, do your thing. Do um, don't run a tab. Don't run a tab. I, that's my new thing. I don't think I'm gonna run a tab anywhere. It's so easy just to give them your card, run a tab, and as I said before, alcohol is the only thing in the world you buy without them telling you how much it is, which I'll never figure that out. You don't go to, go, I want four tires, and they put them on and drive your car out and go, how much do I owe you? That's never happened, ever. But you go in a bar and go, ah, two rum and Cokes. 
Two more. Two more. Two more. And then you get the bill and you're all shocked. We well, thousand dollars. I know you never asked. It's like, uh, so anyway, don't run a tab. Just pay as you go. That's Ask my new thing. Bar, look up. Cash, baby. Cash. Hmm. There you go. Man, now I'm all worked up. I'm going to pay some cash for some booze. <laughs> all right. We're back. Uh, I'm sweaty. It's hot. It's 99 degrees in here. Getting all worked up. Get me all worked up like that. What do we do at the end of our shows now? Take we, our tops off? You yeah. can go ahead and take your top off. I'm going to keep mine on. I had too much buffet. <laughs> That's the, you're going to exit scene now. <laughs> what is going on there? <laughs> it's a little antenna. Okay, so how do we end the show? I'm like a land shark. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> we thank the live studio live audience. Live studio audience! <laughs> we also thank the live chat room. Chat room! <laughs> we like to get email. Pubcrawl at VegasVideoNetwork.com. <laughs> Pubcrawl at VegasVideoNetwork.com. And Twitter, the LV Locals, uh, Vegas Video Network. I did not mention before that we are on iTunes because everybody's on iTunes. I love iTunes. Spotify my butt. I like iTunes. <laughs> Spotify doesn't have podcasts, do they? I don't think so. No. So they ain't all that, are they? Mm -mm. Um, Better stick with your Roku gadgets for that. Yes, thing. your Roku contraptions. <laughs> your infernal Roku contraptions. <laughs> it, it put gas and oil in it. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> um, the uh, pub crawl does urge you to drink responsibly. And remember... We will leave stuff out, but we do never make stuff up. No, no, no. See you next week.